Hello. Good evening, my listeners. Today, God has sent me to put across this message to every believer across the world. It has taken me long, with much prayers, to come out clearly. Actually, it has not been easy for me to release this message. God appointed me as a pastor, and God sent me to several churches around the country and even outside the country. I could not know why God really wanted me to go through several churches looking for a job of a pastor. I landed in several churches and every church I went in to be employed as a pastor. After some time, two to three years or one year down the line, I could be sacked for no reason. I never understood why it was happening like so. Until one time, when I was in prayers, I asked God to reveal to me why. And God told me that I want to send you across the world with this message. And you will use what you have seen through the churches, behind the pulpit. Tell my little folks, if possible, to be aware that they are being driven to hell and not heaven. We are, this message is coming up a time when we are facing end times. And I personally, I would say that be aware. These are end times. First thing, when someone wants to put up a church, I will put this under episode one. Number one, it is to look for vibrant pastors. They will approach you, three to four men or women. Once you get into their deal, the first assignment is we want to put up a ministry. And there are terms, regulations, and things that you have to do in order to work with them. And if the deal seems good to you, then you can go ahead and work. Number one is to identify a place. You don't just go and put up this ministry in any place. You identify, for example, an estate, a place where the men and women of God who are rich. Once you identify the place, you pay for a building, you hire instruments for the church, big instruments you put in that church. You hire chairs and everything, good. The church looks nice. You put up a pulpit, everything is nice. Assignment number two is, you, the five people who started that ministry, you are coming up together on a certain goal. Remember that. And that's why, Christian, you will see churches breaking. You'll see people walking out of certain churches, but there are particular group of people who will never walk out. Ask yourself why. They are meeting for a certain purpose. Number one is that when you come up together, you must put on well. If they are ladies, then your hairstyle must change every weekend. They will even give you money to change your hairstyle. If they are men, these men should have good suits to come, to put on when they are coming to the Sunday service. Number three, you should be a vibrant pastor. Number four, you should go out and convince rich men and rich women to come into that church. If we just get ten, then we start from there. Be aware. These are end times. I'm releasing this message step by step. This is my number one episode. Follow me next week for number two. God bless you.